students, this is Mrs. Harper, the band director from Webb Middle School, and this video is to help you guys out with your flute embouchure, okay? Your embouchure is the way that you shape your lips in order to create a good sound on your flute, okay? So when you very first start, the first thing you need to think about is sitting up nice and tall, making sure your spine is straight, your shoulders are relaxed, and that your head is up, okay? You don't want to actually look up, or you don't want to look down, your head should just be on straight, nice and level, okay? That's really important. The next step is to um, pick up the head joint, just only the top part of your flute, okay? When you first start playing, we're only gonna be using the head joint to work on creating a good tone. Now, on this video, it's a mirror image, so make sure your left hand is here by the crown of the flute, and your right hand, palm of your hand, is covering the bottom of the head joint, okay? So really, it will look like that. Okay, it's just reversed on the screen, but your left hand is at the top of the flute, your right hand is up like this, okay? First thing you wanna do after you're tall, left hand's here, right hand here, is you wanna think about where the tone hole is, okay? The tone hole is right here, right? Where you're gonna blow air across. If the tone hole is angled too far out, you're not gonna get a good sound. If the tone hole is angled too far in toward you, you're not gonna get a good sound. The tone hole should be facing up. It should be facing the ceiling. So one good way to think about that is imagine it were just raining in the room right now, okay? Rain everywhere. And whoever gets the most raindrops inside the flute wins, okay? So you wanna keep the tone hole up. Catch as many raindrops as you can. Even while you're playing, which we'll get to in a second, okay? All right, so you wanna make sure that your tone hole is facing the ceiling. You're sitting nice and tall. Your left hand is by the crown of the flute at the top. Your right hand is completely sealing the hole in the bottom. You don't want any air to leak out. And that the tone hole is facing the ceiling. After that, you want to use a mirror, okay? Mirrors, and when you first start playing flute, are so important. You're going to use a mirror to make sure that the tone hole, when you put it up to your face to play, is right in the center of your lips, okay? Right in the center. If it's off center a little bit, you're not going to get a very good sound, okay? So use a mirror and make sure that the tone hole is in the center of your face. If you see it a little bit this way, you gotta readjust it. If you see it a little bit this way, you gotta readjust it, okay? The next thing is um, you wanna think about where exactly do you put it on your lip, okay? And here's where it gets a little bit tricky. Everybody has different sized lips, different shaped lips, and there's even different flutes. So it's a lot of trial and error and figuring out where does it sound best for you, okay? But just to get started, um, most flute players have the edge of the tone hole, which is right here, like a little ledge, right? Right where it drops off. That little ledge should be touching in the center of your bottom lip, like right here, okay? So if I get really close, right there. For most flute players, okay? For me, it's actually easier if I make mine a little bit higher. Um, for most flute players, it's in the center or even a little bit lower, okay? So it really just depends on your face shape, and that's where your band director can help you one-on-one, -on -one, or even I can help you one-on-one -on -one in a Google chat um, and, or Google Meet and kind of give you some advice and see what's going on. But for right now, just try to keep it in the center of your center of your bottom lip, okay? So it's in the center. The edge is touching. Many flute players, when you first start, you have the lip plate on your lip, if I get really close, but you don't have the edge on your lip. That's wrong, okay? Because your air is not going to go where it needs to go. Your air needs to travel across the tone hole. So in order for it to get a smooth path of air, the edge, the little ledge right there, the actual ledge has to touch your lip. Your lip should go over that ledge a little bit, okay? A little bit when you're playing. All right, so where to put it, super important. Your head is on straight, your left hand is on the top, right hand is covering the bottom of the head joint, tone hole is facing the ceiling. When you first bring the flute toward your face, you wanna make sure that you're not leaning toward the flute, okay? I see that a lot. Beginners will start to play and they'll go up. Pretty soon they're trying to play while looking down and that's not good. Okay, so the flute goes to you. You are still and the flute moves up to you. Use a mirror to find the center. Try to feel the ledge with your lip. You may have to move it around a little bit, roll it toward you a little bit so you can feel it. 
And once it feels secure, okay, you want to have a very relaxed face. And to form your embouchure, the first thing you're going to do is to say the word we. So just say we. Okay? Don't say we. Try to stretch your lips or something weird like that. Just say we. Okay? Now, this time, say we, but freeze your corners right where they are. So relaxed face. We. And then freeze your corners right where they are. You're not smiling. Okay? Just a little bitty bit. We. This is still. And then make your lips touch. So we. Lips touch. And then if this is in the right spot, we, lips are touching, and then you're gonna let the air leak through your lips a little bit. Fast air leaking through your lips. So try it. We, lips together, breathe in through your nose, and let the air leak. Okay, one more time. You may need to readjust, make sure the ledge is right on the center of your bottom lip. We, freeze your corners, lips touch, breathe in through your nose, and let the air leak straight across. And you can think about saying the word poo, like P-U, right? To where your lips are barely opening. Uh, one thing to watch out for is don't let your lips open too much when you're playing. Okay, if you do, it's going to be really airy. It's not going to sound very focused and pretty silvery sound. Um, you're really looking for the best tone quality that you can possibly get. So we freeze your corners, lips together, breathe in through your nose, let the air leak, and say poo. Okay. And there's the beginning steps on how to create embouchure on flute. If you have any questions, please email me at jlharper at garlandisd.net. Thanks, guys. Take care.